This is Darren Dunner with SEO Nitro, and this is going to be my first SEO video of several that will be coming in the year 2013. And this particular video is going to focus on image optimization for Google. And there's three basic, or two basic points I want to make. Um, you know, there's two, two kinds of updates that Google runs through. One is Panda, and one is Penguin. Uh, just a quick little definition here for you. Panda is going to be on-site optimization. That's when a Panda update happens. It's going to be looking and judging your on-site uh, SEO to see you know where they're going to place you. Penguin is off-site optimization, meaning you know images, videos, links, uh, just other things that are outside of your website. For image optimization, it requires both of these to be applied. Okay. So, in order for us to optimize an image and get results for it, first we've got to create or find a unique photo or image. Uh, we need to add keyword and other identifying tags to the image. Uh, upload it to Flickr and add it to your website. The results was your images will be found in Google. Now, the results from images, you know, the image SEO. Uh, image shows up in Google. It appears for various keywords. Um, because of the way we're going to optimize the image, you're going to end up getting links back to your site as well, or links within your site. And it also will help your organic results. So here's an example. Um, you can see North Hollywood Plumbing Service there. And the big green check mark shows that's my image showing up in the second position. Here's another example Los Angeles Plumber. In this case, it's the very first image here checked off, showing you that it showed up in Google as well. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through what I do to optimize my image and get it ready for the first step. So let me go to my program here. Um, this program is called Aperture. You can't really see the whole setup in here. <clears throat> if you're on Windows uh, computer, you can usually right click. Let me go back here. If you see this screenshot, you right click and click on properties of your image and there's usually an area you can add your tags to it. I don't know how effective that is or how, how much that embeds it into the actual image um, because I'm not on Windows, I'm on PC. So, I mean, I'm on a Mac. So for my Mac, here's what I use. So I'm going to create a new project using Aperture. And this particular subject is going to be Clog Sinks. Now this program or Aperture isn't meant to just solely tag your images. It's also used for creating slideshows, but that's not what I'm in interested in right now. Okay, so I created my, my topic. Um, I'm going to import my file that I want to work with. And let's see. Those are not the images that I want, so I'm going to. Here we go. So uncheck all. I only want this one image here. Okay, and I'm going to check this image in as the image that I want. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so now within this program, there's an info tab here where I can put creator. Um, I can put my name here. I can put the name of the website. Um, I can leave it blank. You know, there's a lot of information you can see. You can leave, you know, you can put in leave blank. I'm going to put in Los Angeles because that's kind of the area that I want to rank for. California. Uh, on the website, I'm going to put... Actually, in this case, we're going to do it on a different website. Uh, okay. Clean that up a little bit so it's just exactly the site that I want. Now, as you see down here, it says keywords. So 
Um, I'm, there's several keywords that I want to target in this, but the main one is going to be clogged. I'm going to put clogged sink is my main keyword. But I also want clogged pipes, clogged kitchen sink. Those are the terms that I'm looking at. Okay. So now you can see, here's my image down here. Here's my words that I've tagged. Um, so I'm just going to update real quick the previous so it saves the images that I want. Now I'm going to the post. Now I already have an article prepared here. And the main point that I really want to make here is with, when, you, when you're going to try to optimize an image, you want it to be surrounded um, with content. And you want the image to be first, if you can, and the content right below it. So I'm going to add this photo that I've been working on. Okay, and I'm going to change this title here to Clogged Sync. And I'm going to give it an alt text as well, same word, Clogged Sync. Uh, I'm going to link to none, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want the search results to bring them to the page where this content is going to be. I don't want just the image to show up when I click on it. And uh, I'm going to leave the alignment as mm, center, and I'm going to do full size. Here we go. Okay, so there's my image. Here's my content below. <laughs> now, I did take a word clog kitchen sink and I linked it and I linked it to another page within this own within this website that relates to this article because I'm like I said, I'm also preparing for SEO purposes here. So I'm going to update my post and let's just view this to see what it looks like. And here we go. So here is. My image and I cannot click on it because I made it so that it's just a, st a static image here on this page. Here's my content right below it. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my program here and I'm going to right click this. I believe I can do it right from here. Oh, here, share to Flickr. Going to change this to clogged sync and publish. And then there's actually a little flicker tag here. And you can see my picture there. And I can actually click on locate. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Close that out. I'll go here. Let's just go to Flickr.com. I'm going to sign in real quick. Okay, here's my picture. So I'm going to edit the title here. Clogged Sync. Um, just put a little information here. Do it yourself. Kitchen sink, and you can actually go to your post, get the direct link from it. I'm going to copy the link, and I can add an HTML code here. go add my alt tag as well and hit save and now do it yourself clogged kitchen sink and that's a direct link to my article 
I got my image here. I've got my article here. I've got my image here as well. So I basically, I've, this is all I've done so far. Um, and like I showed you in the very beginning of the video, I already have two images uh, ranking to my other site. This is my buffer site. So on my buffer site, I am trying to promote my main money site with that. So as I'm adding articles to my buffer site, I'm, I'm, I might as well optimize the images as well because the more images I can get to show up in the Google results, the more it will help me in the long run as well. Um, now one thing I want to show you here besides that is in my article, because this is just kind of like a little side note thing, but it does help to tag your article with keywords and tags. And I have here, um, let's see, looks like i got to have my screen option. Okay, where is the tags now? Okay, I'll have to look at that later. Usually in the sidebar here, there's an area where you can just enter the tag words that go along with the article. And for some reason, I am not seeing it. Okay. <clears throat> in any case, I still have my own one SEO installed um, so I can put my title here let me go back to the article that I was looking at and let me edit the actual article that's why I couldn't find my text because I was I was on my the wrong section I wasn't in the actual article that I created so there's my tag area here's my keyword area so I'm gonna add just the same title here for the metadata, I'm not really concerned about the title. I'm not concerned about the description so much. Um, so I'm just going to copy this real quick. And because you know, really, what I want to do is just get the keywords in here. Now, the descriptions do make a difference in the search results. Uh, however, keywords do help as well. So what I'm going to do here is I already searched for clog sync in Google, so that I can get my you know LSI keywords. Um, show you those okay and then a tool here that we have uh, that you guys don't have access to yet we're still working on this program I looked for clock sync in here and it gave me a whole ton of keywords you know the competition because what I'm trying to do is I'm basically trying to get related keywords not the actual keyword here so that I can tag this um, with other words plus I can use these these related keywords in the future because I don't want to go after my exact match keyword. Um, so I already exported this into a file so that I can grab the keywords quickly. So I'm going to highlight, copy those, go back to my programmer program here and enter them in as well as these keywords. could just simply copy those in this and I can paste it right there. And it pasted it perfectly for me. Submit. And now what I've done here is, again, you can't see the full screen, but what this has done is it's filtered out duplicate keywords for me. So I got all my phrases. I got all phrases with you know, this character mark in there. That's for people who want to do content spinning, but that's for future. Then here at the bottom is my each, it's every single version of the keyword there broken down into one single word with a comma. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I do keywords, I don't do a phrase. I do single keywords, but I don't want to duplicate them, so that's why I use this program here. Um, you know, you'll have to find another way for now until we release this. But I'll show you. Just put it there in the keywords, put it here in the tags. And I'm going to update that because this is going to help associate my image with all these various keywords as well. Um, and a good example is I was trying to rank North Hollywood Plumbing Services for images. And here's my image here. Now because of this you know variation of keywords I can take away some of the versions of the of the keyword. 
plumbing, plumbing. You still see my keyword here. Um, plumbers. There it is again. Plumber. Again, it's there. Um, plumber services. And here you go again. Now this isn't always going to happen, but you can see how you know mixing up your keywords with other related keywords can help you in this in this sense. Uh, and I'm going to go back to the post and point one more thing out. Since this is my buffer site on the article that I created, the link that I made back to my main money site right here is clogged kitchen sink. Now that is a non-related, it's kind of related, but non-related to the exact match keywords that I'm going after. I'm going after words like Los Angeles plumber, you know, city names and the word plumber, plumbers and things like that. So when I link to my main site, I try not to use the words that I'm actually trying to rank for because I'm trying to offset this balance here so it looks more natural to the search engines. Uh, on the next video, I will go over more about optimizing articles, um, you know, and mix up the keywords more. Uh, we'll talk more about um, you know natural results, and I will show you a quick glimpse here. Uh, I was never ranking for the word North Hollywood Plumber Services. I actually, in fact, up until this year, I never went, af went after that keyword in the search results. However, since I've been playing around with this and just doing the image optimizations, uh, here we go, right here you can see. This is my main money set that I'm trying to promote. So I'm already on page three and I've just barely started doing these things. Um, you know, in the next videos, I'll show you more about the tests and experiments I'm going to be doing using the buffer sites and various other network sites from, uh, from SEO Nitro that we're, I'm going to use to help push this keyword up. Um, I did also go after Los Angeles Plumber. Let me get rid of that. Just the word plumber was my main keyword that I've been going after. This is a keyword that I had once ranked for before all this craziness happened in 2012. Um, since I've been doing this image optimization so far, I am back on page two here. You can see I'm in position 19. And that's just two weeks of messing around with the image optimization. I haven't even touched the other stuff yet. Uh, anyways, more to come soon. Thank you.